guys, Principals of Hunting Aaron Miller here. Getting ready to go check a couple food plots. Hope you guys will stick with me, follow along. Let's go see these things, see what they look like. Hey guys, it's Principals of Hunting, Aaron Miller here in Southern Missouri. I'm actually out checking food plots today. Um, as you can tell, it's nice and sunny out today, so I'm trying to stay a little bit in the shade. Um, we are entering into probably the hottest week that we've had here in Missouri uh, all summer long. Uh, hitting 90s and heat indexes of about 100, 105 over this week. So I'm trying to get out, get cameras checked real quick, and just kind of see how the plots are doing. Uh, my last video that I brought to you guys, I talked about wanting to do uh, just a little bit of um, maybe something different. I had tried throwing out some store-bought beans, thinking, uh, seeing if they would take off, which they did not. Um, but just trying different things for you guys to be able to see whether they work, whether they don't, things that I did wrong or right, and trying to provide an inexpensive, poor man plot way of doing things for hunting. Um I actually walked up on the plot here just a little bit ago and there was a doe standing on the other side. She took off, um, although she did not blow at me, which is probably a good thing. Um, there was deer on the plot when I got here, which is kind of a good thing, kind of a bad thing. I was kind of hoping that two o'clock in the afternoon, there wouldn't be too much activity here. With that being said, I'm gonna give you guys a, a quick update on how the plots are going and then just show you guys some things that are going on and uh, show you how things are going here in the plot. So hopefully you guys are following along on the channel and seeing what's been going on. Um, both good and bad for me over the last six, seven months, and uh, hopefully be able to bring you guys some good content for this uh, fall. Won't be long and uh, deer season is going to be here, so stay with me guys. I'm going to show you around the plot and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing and uh, what my future plans are, so stay tuned. Here is the plot that I'm working on. This first one is uh, my horseshoe plot. This is actually the newest plot that I've done, and as you guys can see um, down through the plot here, it's actually fairly thick on this right side. It's not as thick over here. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's a fairly rocky soil. And so one of the things that I'm planning on doing this fall is actually coming in with a soil builder. And as much as I don't like to till, I'm gonna have to break the ground up just a little bit. So I'm gonna use a tiller and I'm gonna come in here and you guys can see out here in front of me, um, this whole corner. Uh, right here is going to probably be tilled up and put into that fall blend and then I'm going to spread some of it over into here as well just by a throw and grow method and uh, let it get down into the soil and go that way but as you can see this is a first year stand of clover I planted this um, probably last summer in probably September or well probably right before September uh, trying to get a food plot for the hunting season it did not grow very well and I frost seeded into this spring and then I have added a mineral block over here as well, which I'm going to put another camera on for this upcoming uh, next couple months before season. So I'm going to pull the camera card there and check that and just a lot of things going on. But as you can see, it just kind of snakes around through the woods here and I'm getting a little bit of growth. Um, try to give you a little bit better view here. I'm getting a little bit of growth. I'm talking probably I don't know six seven inches of clover after i mowed the rye down in my uh previous videos so i'm starting to get a little bit of stand of clover here and what i'm really trying to do if you guys can see down here on the ground is i'm trying to build the soil and leave as much thatch as possible while still having a good food plot building the soil and so 
Just a, a quick update. I'm tempted to also do some soil rebuilding in here. As you can see, it's a little thin in places. So I may actually till the edges and put some of that soil builder along the edges as well as out here in the middle. And then I'm gonna take you around the last corner and show you this side as well. So like I said, nothing real big. You can see these thin patches that I will probably till under and add that soil builder to. And then probably next spring, do a little more frost seeding and keep this place going with some good clover. The deer seem to really like it. Future plans for this plot would be to extend, if you look down this way down there, this goes into another section that's probably about an eighth an acre, maybe an eighth of an acre, maybe a little bit more, probably two, 300 yards down that way. And what I would really like to do is start opening up this pathway a little bit more and then add another food plot all the way at the end of that trail, about 200 yards away. It would give me plenty of hunting area in here. So uh, just a few things that I wanna be doing in this plot. I'm gonna pull the camera card and uh, hopefully be able to share those with you see what kind of uh, see what kind of action I've got on the card stay tuned I'm going to bring you some more from the other plot as well all right guys going into plot number two I'm gonna pull that camera card as well and check and see what it looks like just going to give you guys some view of what my plots are looking like so I told you guys my last one there's still a, a good amount of clover growing but this is the hot time of year and I don't expect it to last super long I'm gonna switch the camera around here just a little bit all right guys here is the food plot that I started several years ago this is my first and main food plot it goes off through there it goes off to the left I'll walk through here in just a little bit get some more pictures and film for you guys as you guys can see I've got a little bit of weeds out there I've also got a pretty good stand of clover right over there um, this is probably the better growing area that I have. I do not spray this very often, so you can tell there's some grasses and stuff in here. Um, nice little deer bed right there in front of us. So definitely some growth in here, actually better than what I was expecting. Usually by now in July, the clover is really kind of burnt off. Um, I think part of that has to do with the soil is getting a little bit better in here. My plan for both plots is actually to throw several hundred pounds of lime on to bring the pH up. I know it was a little bit low several years ago and I only put a couple hundred pounds on. As I talked about in my last plot, you can see the thin spots that go through here are mostly grass. These are the harder areas um, right down through here is where they used to drive logging trucks through. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of tilling and a little bit of disking to get this broke up. Um, I did till and everything out here a couple years ago when I first did this plot. Um, I just couldn't get the edges very well. The disc was too big, so I couldn't get down these skinnier paths. So with that being said, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of clearing over there um, to open up a walkway for the deer. Uh, that cedar tree has been knocked over. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of work on the smaller one that's bent over right there to try to open that pathway up because they go in and out through there. They also go in and out through the, the opening. And last year I had quite a few of them come up through this side as well. So a lot to work on here. I'm probably gonna take a few pictures for you guys and add them on at the end of the video. But this area up here, I'm planning on tilling a lot of this because it's never really taken off real well. So I'm probably gonna till this under and throw that fall soil builder blend in here. Get this section going a little bit better. And then probably in the future, once we get a good established plot going in here, probably hit it with some grass herbicide once a year to try to keep this grass down and keep the competition out of the plot. Overall, similar conditions here as in my other plot. I got about six, seven inches, maybe eight inches worth of clover growth, a couple areas that have been burned off by the sun and the heat that I'm gonna have to work on. And from the looks of a couple of spots out here that are laid over the deer are still using it though got a couple of deer beds out here in the middle of the plot you can tell they've been laying as early as probably this morning so i'm gonna do a little walk around i'm gonna actually place another camera see if i can identify exactly where they're coming in and out of and see how often and then i'm gonna go over there and i'm gonna get my camera off that tree see how it turned out 
So guys, if you like what you've seen, stay tuned to the channel, hit subscribe and like down below, and hopefully be bringing you some success out of these plots come bow season.